Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show. And that's Christian, I am Mark. This weekend in theaters you have Out of the Furnace with uh -huh. Christian and Bailey, you have Inside the Well and Davis, the new oh. Coen Brothers movie, but we decided that we're going to do our top five list this week based upon somebody that we lost in a tragic accident this past weekend, Mr. Paul Walker. Yeah, Paul Walker, who was famous for the Fast and Furious movies, and he was beloved by all his co-stars, so he did a lot of great stuff outside of the movie world, and we thought that we should honor him with this list, so Absolutely. we are going to do the top five. Paul Paul Walker movie. You may not see any Oscar winners on this list, but they're all pretty enjoyable to watch on a Saturday afternoon. So, yeah. here we go. At number five, we're actually going to go with something that I forgot he was in, but it's a Clint Eastwood film. It's got a lot of great cast members, and he was one of them on Iwo Jima. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Flags of Our Fathers. Yeah, and this one was, I think it was in Oscar talks here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, again, he was cast in that movie by Clint Eastwood. It was an ensemble piece, and it was nice to see him in that type of role because it was different from the more action-y pieces that he was doing. And it's a really great film. It's about the yeah. six guys actually raised the flag at Iwo Jima, so it's, it's a really good watch if you haven't seen it yet. Check it out. Talk about another nice film, and this one people really, really like, and maybe they might want to tell themselves they love it, and that would be Eight Below. It's a nice family mm -hmm. film. He is stranded in the in the Arctic with his, with his dogs. He's got to leave him, these rescue dogs, and it's just a nice story about you know, it's it's the, it's the love of animals and dogs. Everything in that film worked. You know why? Because it's like it's the color scheme. Because you get all these dogs, then you get all the white of the snow, then you get those piercing blue eyes, and just yeah. everything. Just it makes teenage girls melt. And I think Paul Walker was really good in that as well, too, because it showed that it it showed that nice guy human side that everyone says that he had. So maybe his best performance is our number three film, and that would be Running Scared. Yeah, Running Scared. It was one of those movies too. When you say, like, oh, Paul Walker's going to be in in this kind of dr dramatic role. I don't know if he's going to pull it off. And I thought that he did. It was, it was one of those movies with a darker role that he was normally in. And I thought he pulled it off. And it's a movie that people really dig. That's right. But the reason why you really like Paul Walker and him in movies is because they're just really fun popcorn kind of fare like the top two that we have. What's number two? See, number two, I think this is a mix between popcorn and a dramatic role, yeah. a dramatic movie, and that would be uh, Varsity Blues that they eventually turned into a television show. Did they really? Uh, oh, no, the no, they did not. Good. No, You're thinking Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. Var Varsity Blues, though, was the movie that you really first learned about Paul Walker, I think. Um, and that team would have easily won the state championship if Paul Walker was at the helm the whole time, but unfortunately he got uh, hurt, and then John Voight's an awful, evil, racist coach. Uh, but luckily, James Vanderbeek is there to help save the day and take the boys to a strip club. Number one is another ensemble piece that we talked about at the beginning <laughs> of this. You might have guessed it already. Now, we're going to go with Fast Five yes. on this one. Now, you could have said, why not the fast, the first Fast and Furious? Isn't that kind of point break where he played Johnny Utah? Sure. Sure? <laughs> sure. 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 But what it really is, Fast Five reinvented the whole genre, and it, be, it turned this little kind of fun action franchise into this mega blockbuster summer movie. Absolutely. It was such a fun watch, and it was surprising in the theater to see all these guys back, and it really helped re-energize their careers as well, because yeah, they went off and made some other good movies on their own, but getting the Fast Five thing back together and blowing it up like they did, it was really exciting to watch, and you wanted to see what are all these guys going to do from here, and unfortunately, we'll never get that chance to see with Paul Walker. Um, so, yeah, that's that's our, that's our list. Those are our top five Paul Walker movies. Again, we did this to pay respect to the man and his career. So we're curious, if you guys had a favorite Paul Walker movie, what was it? Comment below. What's your favorite Fast and Furious movie? Yeah, huh? there you go as well. So go ahead and check out some of his movies if you haven't seen them on Netflix. And yeah, Fast 7, he'll be in that. Curious how they're going to rework that movie. But and he's got another movie actually coming out this, it's either mm -hmm. this month or next called Crave. That's right, but in theaters this weekend is Out of the Furnace starring Christian Bale and the new Coen Brothers flick Inside Lewin Davis. You go Out of the Furnace and you go Inside Lewin Davis and you got your pick of the theater this weekend. So for Movies.com, the Schmills No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark. We will see you guys right here next week on your internet. We literally won't be moving.